Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome to the 2020 World Cup match day vlog between Pakistan and England. Uh, we're heading to the G now. It actually hasn't rained all day, which I'm surprised about. So fingers crossed we get a full game in. Uh, as for the prediction, my heart says Pakistan, my head says England. So uh, I guess we'll find out when we head to the ground. But uh, yeah, let's get amongst it and hopefully we see a good game of cricket. Pakistan hit up with 137 off their 20 overs, 8 down. Sam Curran was amazing with the ball once again. Uh, Adele Rashid as well. And yeah, 137 are probably not enough, I don't think, especially with the England top order. I think if Alex Hales gets away and Josh Butler, then it's going to be over pretty quickly, potentially. But Pakistan have a really good bowling lineup. He's hoping they make it somewhat interesting. But yeah, 137, maybe, uh, maybe not enough. It's just got a clean ball by Shaheen Afridi. Uh, and it's, just, it's almost started raining as well, which uh, hopefully doesn't stick around. But yeah, the crowd just erupted when it happened. And that makes things very interesting because Hales was on form from in the last match. So now Phil Stoll uh, hasn't played a few, only played a couple, couple games. Walking out to the creek now. But uh, yeah, it's game on now. England 7 for 1. So Butler's lost for 26 now. Huge wicket. England 45 for 3. Three balls left in their power play. And it's Harry Brook and Ben Stokes in the crease now. They needed that wicket though because they were absolutely flying. They still need to go 6.4 and over, but three down with their top order back in the chairs. It's going to make it for a hopefully quite an interesting finish. So Harry Brook just got out. Uh, he can't really took the catch, but it looks like he's hurt his ankle or something. He's on the ground right now. But yeah, Harry Brook just spooned it straight to him pretty much. So he kind of dives in. Continue to bowl, but that was a huge look at four down now. 54 needed off 45. Getting, uh, getting, uh, towards their safety, it's getting kind of close, but as long as Stokes is out there, then it should be alright. So England now 97 for four, 15 overs gone, and 41 of 30 balls. Stokes still out there, he's 28 of 35 though, he had a four, last ball of the over, which helped massively, but 
Yes, it's getting uh, a bit interesting now. I need to go at 8.2. Gene Sharfree's back on after a little ankle uh, roll, I think. And he's going to be bowling. He's got two, two to go, so he's bowling to Moen Ali now. Let's just see how we go. And, oh, I don't know how his ankle is. He just did a run through. It didn't seem well, but... Yeah, this game could get uh, could get down to the wire. So yeah, just bowled one at one ball, and it looks like Shane Sharp already is done for the night, unfortunately. So now they're going to have to find another five deliveries from someone to bowl. So not not what they wanted, especially when the game is getting as close as this. So England now 130 for four. They need eight or 14, so they're pretty much going to walk it in. I think the uh, the thing that changed the innings was when Shane Sharp already had to go off and Armin had to bowl. And then, yeah, from there, they just haven't looked like uh, losing pretty much. But, uh, yeah, he's got to hand it to Ben Stokes. He's batted very well. Took his time, but he's made for this sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, they should get the job done from here. So England win the 2020 World Cup. Ben Stokes played an absolute blinder on the knock. He loves, uh, he loves those tough chases, and he got it done here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, England probably a better team on the day. Uh, they bowled well. Pakistan uh, fought back during the middle stages there, but England far too good at the end there. Uh, it all changed when Shaheen Shah and Freddie had to go off, but yeah, congratulations to England on uh, winning the World Cup. So I didn't get time to finish the video last night as it was a bit late, but uh, yeah, just to wrap it up, massive congratulations to England on winning the 2020 World Cup. They looked a better team. Um, but they were, uh, Pakistan looked like they were coming back until, uh, of course, I mentioned a couple of times that when uh, Freddie got injured and then Armin had to bowl and got pumped and then from then on, sort of like the pressure was released and England sort of just walked it in. So massive congratulations to them. Current player of the tournament, bowled out of his skin and uh, was sensational. Ben Stokes as well is built for those scenarios and he delivered once more, so very clutch there. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really enjoyed doing these vlogs. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you want me to continue to do these type of things in the future. But uh, yeah, until then, take it easy.